Okay, Meg Slaymaker and me, we are in London at the Excel, and we are here for the first day of the protest against the JW's convention and the Watchtower, JW.org, all of that. We are here for day one. It's uh, very early. We managed to get here. There's a whole group of uh, apostates in there in the hotel, in the bar, and some of them just wandered over there. So They're um, not protesting yet. They're just walking over there to uh, scope out the area. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. And you've come a long way from this. You're from Alberta, which for people who don't know where the hell that is. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Canada. Is, is that the near end or the far end? The, well, the far end from here. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty much at, almost near the almost at the west coast, but not the coast. Just the next province over, and yeah, far west end of Canada. Yeah. So uh, the intention is really to have a peaceful protest, not to yell at Jehovah's Witnesses as I go into their into their convention. Um, just really to raise awareness, to hold up a few signs, and uh, if anything, it's for the public uh, more than for the J-Dubs themselves. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it will be helpful for anyone who is um, who's questioning. So if they have doubts, but they're suppressing them, just seeing us there might help them to realize that they have support and that their doubts are not unfounded and that they can bring them into their forefront of their mind and think about them a little bit. And hope, I'm hoping that that will be the case. Also, seeing that we're nice, peaceful people and we're not there to harm them, we're just there to speak of the policies that are abusive and all of our signs can attest to that so we're not saying our signs don't say we hate jw's our signs say that the policies need to be changed so i think that that speaks yeah. a lot yeah that's the main thing so and uh, don't forget meg slaymaker has her own channel and this is all about xjw musings and information and it's very good and you should definitely check it out and we're going to go check out the excel and see what's going on Our protest is not against individuals. They're not the audience in that. The audience is the general public. The audience is the media. The audience is the world who we are shining a light on the policies and procedures of the organisation that are wrong. Oh, Yuna, so you are here for the protest and you come from... Norway. Norway, and you have a, uh, do you have a Facebook and a YouTube channel as well? Yep, Good Like Personality. <laughs> That's a really interesting name, how did you come out with that? Yeah, because witnesses uh, refer to themselves as sheep-like. Yeah. They actually do that, it's, it's not a pun. They refer to themselves as sheep-like yeah. because they are easy to lead. <laughs> It's kind of fun when you're on the outside, but it's, it's, it's not a pun. They actually refer to themselves as sheep-like, okay. and everyone else on the planet are goat-like, and therefore deserve to die. And it's from the Bible. I stayed in for 15 years just for the sake of my family. You don't want to disappoint your parents, uh, and uh, also, you know, you don't want to lose your family. But after a while, you just realize that they they are allowed to live their life and not dictate other because it's it's basically just extortion what they're doing yeah and uh, you know i know all the rules i know all the loopholes i can work all the angles and uh, uh, i think i was declared apostate like 15 years ago the bible clearly states post paul said that let everyone know that you're reasonable mm -hmm. witnesses never do that it's like it's in the bible we'll rot or die and that's the rule and there's two witnesses and there's no witnesses and like like if, if, if a girl get raped the witnesses find it highly suspicious that she survived so she mm. will actually have to go confess to the elders that she was raped and she will be sitting with three uh, window cleaners and they will ask a lot of awkward questions uh, to determine whether she is to blame for the rape. 
When you say window cleaners, you mean they're elders, but the jobs they have are really just, they don't... Yeah, we, we say for fun, you know, it's not... I'm a window cleaner, and all my family are window cleaners or janitors. You're not supposed to have an education. My sister is smart. She's a lawyer. So that's why I have this sign for her, because she will be shunning me for holding this sign wow. with a very controversial message, European Convention on Human Rights. Right. Because I'm protesting against the Russian ban on Jehovah's Witnesses and the way the witnesses behave. So I'm protesting against the witnesses and pro the witnesses at the same time so I can count double hours. So they they have the right to believe what they believe and to have conventions like the one yeah. where excel behind us, so I'm but their policies you don't agree with. Yeah. yeah, because they have the right to their religion. Guys, this is the front side of the island. It's where the front side. Why these people are wrong? Could well, you see? You better tell me. Tell me why they're wrong. Okay, John Viney, hello. Uh, hello. You're taking a lot of movies in. Now, you are part of the protests, aren't you? Um, I, I volunteered my services to come down really to support Louise, who's taking charge of the protest. Yep. My daughter, Karen, was abused as a Jehovah's Witness when she was about 13, till about 15, 16. She's come down, as has my wife as well. So in order to just show some solidarity, yeah. I felt it was important to come and um, support them as well. Okay, and uh, what do you think of the protest so far, the way it's been organized? I, How I've going? been very Happy impressed. I have to confess to have to being rather concerned. I've never done anything like this before. I've never been publicly protesting on anything. Um, and in the past, I think when I was a Jehovah's Witness and would see so-called protesters or apostates outside assemblies, they often were shouting abuse, um, of often not conducting themselves the in the right way. Were. The protesters now. Yeah. Um, or, or that may even be my twisted Jehovah's Witness view of what I thought was happening, to be honest. You were made to think that they were. So I, um, I was a little concerned, do I want to be involved in that? I certainly want to oppose the two witness rule. the shunning and all of the other things that they're not reporting to the police the blood so I wanted to I wanted mm. to support it but was a little worried as do I want to protest uh, I'm very very glad I have I've been most impressed with the way it's been organized Louise and her staff have done a fantastic job um, to there's be even fair, a, a medic on board somewhere I believe yeah there's a medic there's a, I know I know for a fact there's a member of the Samaritans here mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, and also to be fair, uh, having spoken to the, to the security staff at the XL, they too have been keen to make sure that the 
ex-Jehovah's Witnesses had a presence, yeah. whereas we were not um, interfering with the Jehovah's Witnesses assembly, and, and they, vice versa. They so, are coming out now for lunchtime, aren't they? And uh, they're, they're looking over, and some are even talking to them, and are basically saying, what is this all about? Or you're that's wrong. That's right. I know, for instance, my daughter has her whole story on a board over there. She has um, the newspaper articles with the, with the account of her own case and a young man with his son just walked over and I think at first was a little bit dismissive saying oh you just picked the worst cases have you and my daughter was able to say well actually no all these cases here are me they're all my case and I think that made him stop and think so he started to read the account wow. then and so my daughter said to him make sure you keep your child safe so he could see that she was only interested That's in wonderful. making sure the child was safe. She said, I, I overheard her say, we're not interested in doing anything with your faith, but make sure your child is kept safe. Are you here for the, the Excel, the Excel uh, convention? Yes, we're the convention, the uh, 2018. Oh, right. Um, I, I don't know if you're interested. I've got a YouTube channel which is about things going on in London uh -huh. and uh, and things like events like this. Um, yeah. Could I could I do a little piece? Oh, with I'd you? rather not. No. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. No, it's just interesting because there's a protest there, and I thought, what what is the there? Oh, I'm gonna have a look and see what that is. Yeah, it's just on the right there. I just wanted to know what your take was on oh, it. I have no idea. I've just lost the kids. I'm looking at. Hey, would you guys be okay to talk on, on the YouTube channel about the, the events that's going on here? I do like London events, things that go on here. Um, would you be okay? Would you be okay? Would you be okay? Well, we've got to go back in now anyway. I wonder what you ready. thought of the protest and you can tell me what it's all about. Well, other than having seen them, I couldn't tell you what it's about. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just, just visually seen them. And but if you want to maybe talk to someone, talk to one of the head people. I think you'd be good. No, we got to go. I've got to go on the duty. I just want to know what it's all about. That's all. Sorry. Just, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi there. So your name is Rika, and have you come here from far away? From uh, Ireland. Oh, so so why did you decide that you had to come here and then say your say your bit? Why did you decide you had to come here? Well. I have left the witnesses five years ago and my strange husband committed suicide because of the witnesses. So I think oh. it's important to have a voice. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. So were you in the, you were in the JWs yourself? Yeah, for 17 years. I, um, they got me when my mother passed away. Yeah. I grew up in Italy, so okay. I was a Catholic person. But, uh, my mother passed away and they get you when you're at your lowest. Yeah. And they do love Bombio, of course. And uh, my family was wasn't the best and uh, they kind of promised you like the family you never had and I fought for it and uh, so I converted, I got baptized and then when I was 22 I moved to Ireland and then I married when I was 27 and uh, 10 years later it was the marriage wasn't working um, for different reasons mm -hmm. and one of the reasons is that I am gay too so yeah. <laughs> it don't really happen <laughs> but uh, you see, it was just I felt like I was drowning and I just it couldn't be possible. So I left, I left the witnesses, I left my marriage and I just, uh, uh, I just had to start fresh. You know, when you leave then uh, you lose everybody. Yeah. And all my friends were witnesses and, uh, you know, I was in a country that, although I was there for like 15 years, still it wasn't my real country. Wow. But you just carry on and you start building your life again. And I was separated for two years. In Ireland, it takes forever to get a divorce. But uh, two years into the separation, my then strange husband committed suicide because he couldn't, uh, you know, he, he fell in love with, with somebody else that was an ex a witness as well. They couldn't be together. Yeah. And didn't work out, the relationship didn't work out, of course. And he just, yeah, he just. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. And you're here for the protest now. How do you think it's going? I we think just it's going very well. Witnesses come out for their lunch break. Yeah, you know, yeah. Glancing over at us, and some people even talking. 
I am actually sure. shocked about that because I thought it would be told inside not to come out this way. Yeah. But I think maybe those people were falling asleep when they were being told that. So do you think inside the convention they've been told that we're out here? Yes, of course they did, yeah. They absolutely do and that. And also perhaps what to do, like, you know, oh, yeah. don't talk to them. Oh, they do that. They is Jehovah's Witness is a high control organization. Yeah. And not even called them religion, they are called. Uh, they, they control you everything you do. So I'm pretty sure 100%. And they've been told inside that we were outside to avoid us, yeah. not to come out this way. So yeah. Okay, Stefan, so you've been here for the protest and something interesting just happened that you uh, witnessed, if you uh, excuse the pun. Yes, I was <laughs> just standing next to my friend Platt and uh, a person wanted to walk inside the venue. Uh, he started to read all the signs that we have up here and um, he told Platt, thank you for reminding me. And he went back away. He left. He left. So this was someone left coming the to the Jehovah's yes. Witness yes. convention yep. who yep. decided, hang on a minute. This is something wrong and I have to go away now. Now! <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's working already. Really? Reminding yeah. them about and what is, what is the worst thing about the JW.org policies? Um, the fear that they instill to people so that you do not get out. Yeah. The shunning, um, the two witness rule. But also uh, inside the congregations there is lots of depression and um, and suicide because people are forced to do things that they don't like. Yeah. And uh, the, they, have, they have only one medicine and that is uh, study more, do more field service. And uh, it doesn't work because there's much more depression than ever before. Yeah. And for anyone who doesn't know what the two witness rule is, could you explain it? Yes, so uh, if somebody commits a sin, a serious wrongdoing, mm -hmm. then uh, he, he has to have two witnesses before he can get convicted right. by, by, the, by their own uh, judicial uh, system. And we know that there is pedophilia that happens within the JW community yes, that yes. is covered up. Uh -huh. And this largely happens because they cite the two witness rule. And yep. Of course, when a child goes to the elders, there is never a second witness. I know, there is nobody watching it, eh? Watch, watching the, the, the abuse. Eh? So, in that in that case, then uh, the elder or the one that uh, has done the the crime, he walks away, yeah. and uh, the victim is left with no help, uh, probably not believed in in the story that they are telling. Plus, uh, they have to leave it into God's or Jehovah's hands. Yes. So there is no help. There is no. Uh, sending them to the to a psychiatrist or whatever, so they, they just are left on their own. And I believe the elders were asked you know, publicly, quite recently, are you going to change this rule because of the abuse that's happening yeah. and the harm? And they said, no, we're not changing it. No, this came on the JW broadcast. We will never change this policy. Because it's from the Bible. Yes. Yeah. The concept of the two witness rule is completely taken out of proportion. Yeah. Uh, when you read the whole uh, chapter of that part in the Bible, I think it's Deuteronomy. Isn't yeah, it? it's Deuteronomy. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not at all uh, applicable to what we have today. So they're taking bits and pieces out of the Bible, then use it to the detail. But other bits and pieces of the Bible they never talk about. And the same with the blood transfusion. The same with the we're blood. not supposed to take blood into the yep. body, which in the Bible they were talking about not drinking blood. Exactly. But the Jehovah's Witnesses have taken it to the extent of not having yep. life-saving blood transfusion. That's true. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, yeah. is crazy, and they are dying because of it. Yeah, their own yep. people. And oftentimes they just change the policy, like with the blood. Yeah. And. Uh, when they change that, it means that lots of people died taking up their stand. Yeah. But suddenly there is another viewpoint, there is new light, they say. And all these people have died for nothing then. Oh, so you are part of the Jehovah's Witnesses? Not yet, as such. My parents are. Oh, your parents are. Do you know about what's going on here with this protest? Why they're protesting? I don't. I don't wish to. 
Oh, I mean, some of the signs there are talking about the uh, violating human rights and protecting pedophiles because of the two witness rule. Have you heard of that? I haven't. Well, that's something I, well, you I've, could... I've heard of claims. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something you can find on the internet and obviously make up your m own mind about. But your, your parents are they're they're quite committed to it. Uh, my dad is an elder, yes. Your dad is an elder? I would never call him a pedophile. I would never call any of the elders I've ever met a pedophile. No, I don't mean, I don't mean that. I mean, that, that there, if there is pedophilia that goes on, it's protected. The, the two witness rule protects them from uh, speaking out and uh, getting the public, uh, getting the. They would have to be. If there was any claim, if, for example, I was claimed to be a paedophile, if I was an elder, for example, in a witness for the game, yeah. they would go to the other elders and I would be spoken to and they would do what they think is right through the law of the Bible. That is all we Which do. is quite often leaving it in Jehovah's hands, which means it isn't taken up with the police. Jehovah's hands and the police are in unison. We obey the rules of the law of the people. And give back Caesar's things to Caesar. What do you think about the, the blood dro doctrine, not uh, giving blood transfusions? That is perfectly fine with me. I find nothing. So if you needed a life-saving blood transfusions or your little brother and you weren't allowed to take any died or you died? They, because there are other alternatives to blood transfusions. I can't, I don't remember the names, they're long names, you know, and, but certain things where they clean the blood throughout, it's, we find that wrong because it says in the Bible that that is wrong. And the lifeblood is the part of the human, that is the yeah. most important. I think it's talking about drinking blood though, isn't it really, in the Bible? Not, they didn't have blood transfusions back then. Of course, they would have had certain things. I'm, I'm not sure on the history of Jerusalem, I'm not amazing at this, I'm not, yeah. you know, the, the there are things I don't understand yet, and yeah. I may not understand for a long time. But to find people calling others paedophiles, and that if there were claims of them that it's Jehovah's Witnesses as a whole that are bad, I... It's I, the doctrines, no, it's not the people, it's the doctrines. The, the doctrine comes from the Bible, so we would obey the Bible. If the Bible said there was a two witness law, and that happened, and then, for example, your paedophiles, you're saying, in, in the two witness rule would be protected by them. Mm -hmm. If someone were to see a brother or sister or anyone act like a paedophile, they would most definitely go... Well, they probably wouldn't them. see it. It would be done in, in private. If there's people here in this crowd behind me that were abused as children while they were in the Jehovah's Witnesses, and the two witness rule protected them. Very much well, I'll just say, you know, thanks for talking, and uh, I know you're, you're still young yet, and but there's plenty you can find out on the internet. And But if you feel that this is the right thing, then that's obviously is, is your choice. But, okay, thank you. What do, what do you think of the protest? You, you are part of the convention here? Do you think they're right, um, or do you think they're wrong? Why, why, if they're wrong, why, why are they wrong? That's a big issue, a big question, but I wouldn't comment on it because it could be taken down and used in evidence, couldn't it? So.